I think genomics um, will be an important um, component of plant breeding, and so I wouldn't say genomics will lead the future. It will be an important component of plant breeding today and tomorrow. I, I think so because we need to be precise, we need to be quick. It's precision and speed, and genomics bring on board the precision and speed. But we can't change the way we have done things all of a sudden. Plant breeding, we have to go into the field and make your crosses. Conventional breeders will be very important in even the new revolution. We cannot just integrate um, uh, uh, genomics into plant breeding without seeing plant breeding as the key, I mean, um, 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 discipline that genomics is coming to facilitate, if you like. So bringing speed and precision into the whole game, I think, is what genomics is bringing on board. I think um, increased investments in genomics is quite important. If you see an important player as genomics coming into the picture, you need to scale up. You need to ensure that everywhere all around the world, people have the knowledge and skills to apply the genomics revolution. And so investments, increased investments is very important for the future. Um, this is very important, I would say. It depends on cost. We have to lower the cost of genomics research and ensure that it does not swallow the plant breeding budget. We should ensure that conventional breeding does not suffer in budget. And so I wouldn't say I would, without knowing um, 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 cost, I wouldn't say I would split it 50-50. I would say that it shouldn't swallow the budget side that conventional breeding suffers. But um, um, we have to put in more, uh, uh, more money into conventional breeding and ensure that uh, the money we need for genomics also is brought on board. So it's difficult to split the money. No, um, I cannot even say 60 for conventional breeding and 40 for genomics. Um, I wouldn't want to put a guess on that, but I would say that conventional breeding should not suffer in budget while genomics come on board. If we are looking at the important crops that feed Africa and part of Asia, then we are thinking about some time because we are talking about translation of what we are doing in the labs to scale and impact. I would think that um, 10 years would be uh, the minimum for it to um, have impact in breeding programs in Africa and beyond. So 10 years, I wouldn't say less than 10 years.